Hi brand owners, this is Mari. I hope you guys are amazing. So today I will be sharing with you some amazing brand story templates that can help you get ready for that premium A plus content and just to optimize your listing in general and make sure you're making that emotional connection with your potential buyers. So it's gonna be a very easy tutorial. You will see how you can do everything on your own until you're ready to, again, invest in services with professionals like us at Sherrod Studio. So let's get started. Let's remember what brand story is. So basically it's an addition to an Amazon listing and as well, it's a complimentary piece for a Naples content where you can learn more about the brand. So if you have an inspiring story that you want to share with the rest of the world, you can put it on the brand story. Now, onto the very, very reason why you came to this video, which is the brand story template. So I'm gonna go to our land page that you will get once you scan this code. Here, you will have to give us your email, first and last name, and once you do that, you will get an email where you will receive the templates and we will go right to the templates and teach you how to do it. So this is what you will get first and you will click on use template. Once we are here, you will see that we are giving you a couple of modules. I think the most important things to have in mind when creating a brand story is that even though it is a story, it's going to be long, you should separate the story into different modules. Don't have a lot of text as the example has. Make sure you separate it in bullet points so it's easier to digest, so it's easier to read. So as you can see, we have a photo and we have a couple of boxes, text, assets, etc. If you want to replace the photo, the first thing you have to do is go to the photo, click in unlock, and then go to the menu right here at the left of the screen and click on upload. Right there, you're gonna upload any photo or you can just choose whichever. These are the ones we used last time for the A plus content um, video. So I'm gonna select this one, for example, or you could just, if I'm not mistaken, drag it onto the photo and make sure it is big enough to cover the image. For the sake of the copy, I'm gonna work with the image that is already there. In case um, the photo is on top of all the other elements, you just have to right click on it, layer, and you have to send back. And that's how you're gonna keep the assets, the text and everything in place. Then if you want to modify the box or you want to modify the color, this is also a photo, but you can work with the elements around here to create that box. So this box, you can just move it around, put it on any size that you would like, and then we should be able to modify this as we want. So this is brown right now. It's not really readable. So I'm just gonna change the color. So the text, you can just modify however you want. And if you want to select a couple of keywords that you want to highlight, you just like hover over them like that. And then you click on here on B and change the color to something that pops out like red or something. That's kind of the way you can play. But if you want to add other elements, you can add them as photos, just as I taught you, or you can just use elements from the elements uh, menu. Right here, same thing. See how we put the text uh, in a different position with some other elements. Those are some of the ways that you can play with it just to make sure that it looks beautiful, it stands out and so on and so forth. That's the way we do it at Shared Studio, at least play a little bit just so everything looks different, but that it's part of one same thing. So those are the templates that we have for the modules. So remember that in the brand story video, I teach you that the module that we use the most for brand story is the media asset module because it gives you the whole space of the module for you to include an image with whatever text that you want to include. The other ones don't really look as good, but also the images are very small in those modules and you can't really see anything. So this template is for that one only. Then we have the background, which is extremely important. So I'm gonna use the other template that you will probably receive and you will see the background right here. So this is a kitchen category. So the first thing that we wanted to use was a uh, like marble background that shows you kitchen elements. You can also include your logo and we highly recommend it because again, this section speaks all about your brand. So you want to make sure that people can easily identify 
your logo and the only way you're going to achieve that is you, if you include it here and we have studied a couple of different uh, backgrounds and we have actually A-B tested them on PigFu. The best places to put their logos, at least according to the audiences, are the two following. Right here, or if you have more of a horizontal logo, like for example, something like this with just the name, we recommend putting it right in the center and on top of the modules. So it's always there and it never gets covered by any of the other elements. And as well, the other thing that really stood out for us from the A-B testing is including a CTA. Sometimes people, when they are looking at a listing with some new elements, such, a brand, such as Brown Story for the first time, they don't know that they have to actually scroll through it to see more of the brand. So when you click on, or when you add a CTA, you will find that actually people will scroll more throughout the brand story. So you can modify this, you can modify everything. Again, this is just a template, but that's how the elements work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful for any of you guys. If you have any questions, if you need any help or we can consult you, just contact us by booking a complimentary marketing consultation at hello at Shared Studio. So until the next time, bye.